Alrighty, grief growers, I've got an announcement for you this week. And like the title of this podcast implies, I'm taking a break. I get chills as I say this because I know that it's the next right step that I need to take for the podcast, for my grief work, for my health and well-being right now. But my brain, my logical self is is sad about it, is disappointed in it, is is angry about it, is is frustrated that it needs to happen at all. So since starting the podcast, and even a little bit before that, when I started my business, uh, Shelby for Scythia, and started talking about grief and loss publicly in a public space, I have read every single book on public speaking. I've read every single book on how to become a small business owner. I have read blogs and done business coaching and and all kinds of stuff to ensure that what I create and what I put out into the world is successful and consistent and helpful to people and is relaying a message that not only comes from my heart, but comes from experience and comes from wisdom and comes from this desire to, to help other people walk through loss and walk through grief just a little bit better or a little bit more easily or with the knowledge that that they're not alone. And there's a lot of rules in these books on speaking and writing and blogging and being a small business owner that that really emphasize consistency and always being there and always being accessible. And I never thought, it's funny, I never really thought that I was falling prey to that until I realized that since I've started my business, I've never stopped. And I'm coming to a spot now where Everything that's happened, not just this past year with my engagement falling through and and finding a full-time job and being offered a couple of other jobs and having some things with my health cave in, um, but things with my lifetime, my mom's death, a couple of breakups in the past, and just some, some rooted ancestral truths are really coming to the surface for me. And in the midst of all of these things, you know, coming to the top of the lake, to the top of my uh, subconscious pond, coming into the emerging conscious space for me, I'm realizing that I have left myself no room in my world, in my everyday, to, to look at it, to be inspired, or even, I mean, to take this energy that's coming up and not only write about it and study it and do more work on it, but just to rest to sit back and and take care of myself or, I mean, go on a walk if I want to. I've been so busy focusing on what the next right thing is for my business and for my visibility and for all of you, my grief growers, and for my work and the book I want to write and and the next podcast that I want to produce that I haven't, I haven't taken my hands off the steering wheel and and just enjoyed the view, enjoyed where I am. I have not scheduled in time to to enjoy where I've brought myself. So I did some work with one of my coaches this past week, and it was almost a screaming message. It was almost just this radical cheer of, I need a break. And my brain is, is is angry about it. I said at the top of this podcast, my brain is angry about it because I know, I know, I know, I know this is the absolute worst time of year for somebody who talks about grief and who broadcasts tips for walking through grief to take a break. The holidays are one of the hardest times of year for all of us. But what my heart is saying is this needs to happen right now. This can't wait. You wait and you fall down this hole of continuing to produce and continuing to expend energy and continuing to put things out into the world and not replenishing or restoring or just stopping to look at all these things that have continued to come up with time. Um, And and so I, I need to take a break. I've been really wrestling with myself on this, which is why it's just now coming up now, but, but I've managed to make it through what, 26, 27 episodes. Now, this is six months that I've been podcasting, you guys. I'm really proud of that. I have met so many cool people and I have done so much in my writing. I've hit some milestones I've never thought I would hit. And then, of course, I got to meet all of you through listening to the show, through the Facebook group, through all of you emailing me. This has just been so cool. 
you know, and I'm not done. I'm not done. Please don't get me wrong. Break does not mean done for me. I This is my life's work. I'm going to come back to this. But I don't really know when, and I don't know what me or my work is going to look like after that. So I just wanted to I just wanted to let you know, grief growers, that things are going to take a break for a while. So there's nothing wrong with your phone. There's nothing wrong with your subscription. There's nothing wrong with my website. If you don't see a refresh, you know, this time next week, there's nothing out of the ordinary. This is what's coming. This is what's happening. My goal is to keep you and my heart as informed as as possible as this goes on. And this is me recording totally unscripted. I am just approaching you today from the front of the mic. But yeah, this this is this is a big deal for me. Um, I've been going back and forth on it a lot, but my heart says this is right. And if there's anything that I've learned in grief, is sometimes you just have to feel through it. You've got to feel what your heart is telling you, and you have to act on it, even if you don't know what's on the other side of this. I have no idea what's on the other side of this. Right now, previous experience is screaming at me that this looks bad and I'm going to appear unstable and I'm going to appear inconsistent and and unreliable as a business owner, especially for bailing on the holidays as somebody who works with grief. But I have to. I need to do this right now. I have to trust that what's best for me and best for my grief work and best for my message and my mission is best for everybody. And that is one of the hardest cliches for me personally to get on, on board with, to jump on the wagon with. I want you to know as I sign off today that I will not forget you, grief growers, and I will not desert you. I am coming back to this. I'm not done. This podcast is not done. My writing is not done. My work is not done. I'm not done talking to you and talking to to the rest of the world about grief and loss. And I want you to know energetically that you are not alone with your grief or at your holiday tables, wherever you spend your holidays this year. I am sending my presence out to you through the microphone today. I am here with you through this. And please go back and listen to previous episodes of the podcast if that's what's speaking to you during this time. They are evergreen. They will always be available to you. I love you in this. I want to thank all of you so much for supporting me on my way so far with this podcast, with my business, with my work, with my coaching, with just everything that I do. Any of you who've taken grief recovery method classes with me, it's just been so cool to see my life turn into this. But it's time for a break. So I'm heeding the call. I'm going into the woods by myself and I'll be back. That's the thing I have to trust is I'll be back. So today my grief growers here is to resting, here is to listening, and here is to telling very, very hard heart truths. I'll be back soon. I see you. I am proud of you and the work that you're doing in the world, my grief growers. And I love you. Because even through grief, we are growing.